Hallelujah, hallelujah. Will you please stand to your feet and give God the highest praise? The highest praise is hallelujah. We are you thankful to be in the place of worship one more time. This is the month of Thanksgiving and God has blessed us with so much. Hallelujah. Come on and give God the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As this is the month of Thanksgiving, back in the day, we used to sing a song called Thank You, Lord. And so if you could just join this little song with me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you Lord come on raise your hands and give God praise thank you Thank you, Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we come before you this morning, God, we come with a repentance heart in the name of Jesus, God. God, we ask that you forgive us of all our sins, sins of omission, sins of commission, sins against our brothers, knowingly and unknowingly, God. God, we thank you for waking us up this morning, God. We thank you for waking us up in our right mind, God. God, in this season is what is considered the season of depression, God. We just thank you for waking us up in our right mind, God. God, we thank you, Lord, for our jobs. We thank you for our homes. God, we thank you for Restoration Free Gospel Church. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for 17 years, God. And we've come this far by faith, God. And we don't take it lightly. God, this morning we pray for the sick and the shut-in, God, that you will heal their bodies from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. And God, we also pray for the bereaved families as we know that this is a hard time during the holidays. And God, we welcome you into this place. We welcome you into our hearts, God, and let a fresh anointing fall in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This morning, I will be coming from the book of Psalm, chapter 100. When you have it, say amen. <clears throat> and it reads, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Into into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, 
and his truth endure to all generations. And the script word is blessed. And right now we bring it up. JWM, who will take us higher in the Lord. And the next voice that you will hear will be that of Bishop James Briscoe. Amen.
But your joy this morning. I come to give God all the glory. Amen. Come on, hallelujah. There's beauty in my brokenness. I got true love instead of pain. There's freedom though you captured me. I've got joy instead of mourning. There's beauty in my brokenness I've got true love instead of pain There's freedom though you captured me I've got joy instead of mourning Come on, help me sing, there's beauty There's beauty in my brokenness I've got true love I've got true love instead of pain Instead of pain there's freedom. There's freedom though you captured me. Yeah. I got joy instead of morning. Come on, say, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul. 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 I say, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul. Beauty? It's beauty in my 
salvation of whom shall I fear and whom shall I be afraid of whom shall I fear and whom shall I be afraid of that somebody should declare that statement to yourself somebody said the Lord is my light the Lord is my light the Lord is my light, the Lord is my light. and my salvation of whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I fear? And whom shall I be afraid of? Of whom shall I be afraid of? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Raise your hand to testify that you declare that. You declare that in your life this morning. I declare and decree that in my life this morning. Salvation, whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my life. Salvation, whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? Say, I will wait on you. I will wait on you. Yes. I will wait on you. I will see the good 
need to clap your hands a little bit. Give God the glory. Hey, God. Yeah, we said I hope y'all. We said I hope on you. We said I hope on your love. We said I hope on the one who is the everlasting God. Give God a praise. Amen. Stand on your feet. Let's give God praise. Amen. I will trust in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Truly, we thank God for the praise leaders leading us in the praise this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For you that don't know, I'm the pastor, Bishop John Briscoe, here this morning. Amen. But we are in our anniversary season. We're celebrating 17 years this week. Amen. Of, of being open here at at, at at Restoration Free Gospel, amen. We've had anniversary services this week with uh, Bishop Thomas on, Thompson on Thursday night and Elder Butler on, on Friday night. You, if you weren't here, you missed an awesome good time. But we thank God for you today for pressing your way, amen, in the name of the Lord, amen. We truly thank God. We, we are truly honored today, truly honored today. It, don't get confused. I'm Bishop John Briscoe, amen, and, and I'm going to introduce... A person that I've always looked up to. Amen. Always looked up to. Amen. The presiding bishop over the free gospel churches, 
Bishop James M. Briscoe. Now, let me just tell you a few things. Of he, first of all, we're James and John. We're, we're twins. Amen. They said we're identical. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Don't get us mixed up. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He's the bishop. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So he's been pastoring uh, Brian's Road Free Gospel Church for 30 years. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. A faithful man, God. Amen. He's been married to his beautiful bride for 32 years. 32. 30, did I not? 50. I'm sorry. I got 32 on my mind. 52 years. Amen. 52 years. Amen. I made, amen. Praise God. They just come through an anniversary this last weekend. Amen. 52 years. Amen. Praise God. They got three children. Uh, Tania, James, and Corey. Amen. Uh, four or five, five grandchildren. Amen. So, but we thank God for him being with us today, bringing forth the message. Amen. Closing out our anniversary season. Amen. The presiding bishop of the Free Gospel Churches, Bishop James Briscoe. Let's greet him with a hearty hand clap. Amen. As he comes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. What an awesome God we serve. Amen. Is he awesome? Is he awesome? Come on, let's give him a praise. Let's give him a thanksgiving. Let's bless his name for he's worthy. Hallelujah. He woke you up this morning. The clock didn't do it. Amen. Praise God. The dog barking didn't do it. Amen. Praise God. But that one called Jesus. Hallelujah. Tag ye the boho God. Touch you this morning. Say, hey, it's time to wake up. Amen. And he woke you up this morning. Amen. Praise God. Hopefully closed in your right mind. Amen. Praise God. Giving glory and praise unto him. Amen. Praise God. The Lord of our life. What an awesome God that's so worthy to be praised. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. It just gives me great privilege. This is the first time we've been out since the pandemic. Praise God. Amen. We're not going to hold you up too long. Amen. Praise God. But we thank God for giving honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. Unto, amen, our late apostle, Apostle Ralph E. Green. And see you, Pastor Dr. Shirley M. Green. Thank God for the, the 60 years. Amen. That they led this organization called Free Gospel. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank God for a wonderful wife the Lord has given me, as my brother said. Amen. Praise God for 52 years. Amen. Thank God for her. Amen. But would you know we come, you may be seated, we come to celebrate this wonderful couple this morning. Amen. Praise God. And this wonderful church. Amen. Praise God. Because no man can do it by himself. Amen. Somebody said it takes a team to make the dream work. Amen. Praise God. It takes a team. So this morning, praise God, we come. Amen. Praise God. Lord have mercy. What an awesome God. Amen. Praise God. So we come to celebrate this awesome couple. Amen. Praise God. Pastor and First Lady Briscoe, John W. Amen. Praise God. And Sister Mary Ann. We've, we've known her for a few years. <laughs> Maybe the eighth grade, something like that, or seventh grade when they started dating one another. Lord have mercy. Amen. So, so we thank God for them. Praise God. Amen. And of course, this wonderful church restoration for these 17 years that the Lord has blessed you. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. I, I enjoy your theme. Your theme says we made it this far by faith. We made it this far by faith. Amen. Romans says, amen, that God has given every man the measure of faith. Now, it's up to you what you do with that measure. Now, you can bury it in the sand like the one that had the one talent and didn't do anything with it. But every man has been given the measure of faith. And where he ends up is up to him. It ends up is up to her. How you choose to work it or let it just lay dormant. Amen. Praise God. But I'm telling you, children of God, I thank God for this celebration. I thank God for your theme. Amen. Because let me tell you, of all of the scriptures and all of the, amen, praise God, attributes of God, amen, faith is my favorite. All the gifts. Amen. If I had a choice, amen, praise God, amen, of all the gifts that God has placed in the body, I would prefer the gift of faith. Amen. Praise God. Hebrews says, without faith. Lord have mercy. Let me let me get into the lesson this morning because amen. I know we're on time schedule, praise God. And 
Amen. And everything, everything. Amen. Praise God. Lord have mercy. I've, I've learned now to, to cut mine back in a half an hour. Amen. So we're up at 930 out of the door by 10 o'clock. So I was, I was looking at mine over there on Facebook while we was in the, in the back room. But we thank God this morning. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we thank God for coming to meet many of you. Amen. Pretty, some for the first time. Amen. But this morning, this morning title. Amen. It says what is walking by faith. Walking by faith. Walking by faith. Amen. He, amen. First, second Corinthians 5 and 7 says, says we walk by faith and not by sight. Because I don't know how many of you have ever looked at something and stepped away from it. Because when you looked at it, it scared you. But God said we walk how? By faith. Amen. Many of us have accomplished what you have accomplished. Amen. Praise God. By faith. Many of you wasn't born and raised in this area. You got up from wherever you were born and raised. Amen. Praise God. Stepped out on God. Amen. Went to a whole new virgin area that you had never knew anything about. Amen. Praise God. And look at God. Amen. You met a whole new family of people. Worked on jobs that you didn't know, amen, who you're going to run into. But look at God. You've raised families. Amen. Praise God. You brought forth children. Praise God. You raised them up. Put them through school. By faith. By faith. By faith. Man, I'm telling you, amen, it's an awesome thing when you think about it. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, without faith, it is impossible. He didn't say without love. He didn't say without some of the other gifts, but he said without faith, it's impossible to please God. You can't please God woo, without faith. Amen. And the scripture goes on to says, amen, praise God, that he that comes to God, you need to highlight that word must, must believe that he is a what? You need to highlight that. Because God said, I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give you something. When you believe in me and when you trust in me, when you step out on me, I'm going to give you something. The scripture declares, amen, praise God, that he is a what? He's a rewarder of them that diligently. See, a lot of times we don't want to talk about the prosperity of God. Don't want to talk about, amen, praise God. We can let the drug dealer and the drug addicts, amen, they can ride down the road living, living large and doing good, amen, praise God. But when they come into the church, you got to have holes in your shoes. You got to have holes in, man, I was there with my wife yesterday. I said everything else, every jeans had holes in them. Now, if we try to sell you some, some Lord have mercy. Amen. You ain't got to walk around like that. I mean, styles are styles. That's one thing. Amen. But you ain't got to be broke, busted, and disgusted. Because God says, amen, if you trust him and walk in faith, he said he's a what? He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I don't know about you, but I ain't serving a poor God. I ain't serving a God on welfare, even though we came up on welfare. Thank God for government cheese. Told my niece Wanda this morning our bassinet was a dresser drawer. Woo! We can lay in bed and look out through the walls. Wasn't no insulation in the walls. Wasn't no, wasn't no, wasn't no, wasn't no, uh, 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 what is it, sheetrock on the walls. It was a cardboard box that had been opened and papered over top of. And wherever those boxes joined together, the paper would crack. You could look straight through the wall, look out doors, look under the floor and see the chickens running around under the house. Dip a cup of freeze in the bucket overnight so cold in the house but that don't mean you got to stay there but i thank god that we had a mother that said we ain't staying there we may be on the government right now but we ain't staying there amen praise god her faith caused her to raise four boys at 19 years of age no husband but she brought us forth and made us work and by faith woo, can we talk about faith this morning god said he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes we got to kill doubt and unbelief. Amen. Got to get away from powders and doubters and folks that's talking everything down. Why? Because we serving a God that's able. We serving a God that Lord have mercy. The earth is his and what? The phone is there. I don't care who own it. The day is coming. See, he said where the wealth of the wicked 
Store it up for who though? It's stored up for who is it stored up for? For the righteous. Leave the wicked alone. They got a job this morning. Amen. Praise God. They got a job. What's their job? Gather the wealth up. They had the laws changed on Sunday. You didn't know nobody selling them on Sunday. Stores weren't open on Sunday. Amen. Praise God. They got the blue law changed so they could do business on Sunday. Leave them alone. They ain't in church serving God. Their job is to gather the wealth of the world up. So when God is ready to give it to the, to the righteous. Now, if God can't trust you with this little bit you got down here, don't think he's going to give you the... Amen. I ain't come here to mess you up this morning, but I came here because, amen, praise God, this theme brought me here. Amen, praise God. None of this could just happen over 17 years. Somebody said, but by faith. But by faith. Your theme says we made it this far. By faith. There was a many times, amen, that I know you was ready to throw your hands up, ready to walk away. Ask God, Lord, are you sure? Amen. That you are you sure? Amen. Are you sure? Amen. Praise God. Lord, I'm telling you, Amen. Amen. Praise God. This thing has happened, but by faith, this couple and this members of this church stepped out on faith, amen, and fulfilled the purpose of God. Amen. Fulfilled the purpose of God. Stepped out on faith. When he was getting ready to retire, and amen, talking when he's going to open up a church. I said, man, you don't want to do that. God will let you make it and then try you for it. He let Abraham wait for 25 years for a son and then told him, give it back to him. God will let you make it, then, then ask for it back. Are y'all ready to give it back? I joined the company some 40 some years ago. Amen. Probably been longer than that. Amen. Praise God. Running from house to house reading gas meters like you have your meter on the house. Your electric meter. We had gas meters. Amen. We ran. We didn't have no. Amen. Now the van right up down the street and just wake the meter up and send the, send the, send the reading out. Amen. But we had to go to house to house. Amen. Praise God. And in the process of doing that, I went back to school. Amen. Praise God. Ended up in IBM. Well, we were in IBM in 1966. Amen. We started over with the punch cars in IBM. Amen. Praise God. But I'm telling you, children of God, God is just waiting for you to step out. And God will take you out of your comfort zone. And see, that's why many people fail in God, because God will take you out of your comfort zone. Amen. I'm making it on the job. Amen. The first African American computer programmer on the job. Amen. End up being the manager over all of customer information systems. Amen. Praise God. So if you get a, I ain't going to call the company. Amen. But they serve gas. Amen. Praise God. But if you get a bill or anything from, from that company in this area that serves natural gas. Amen. Praise God. My team programmed it. The meter readers, pro I programmed them. They cut the appliance service, we, pro we, we programmed them. Amen, praise God. If you call for customer service, we programmed that. Everything that dealt with the customer, we programmed it. Amen. And then God stepped on the job and says, go home, be a full-time pastor. Uh, you can praise the Lord if you want, Elder Slay. But I ain't praise the Lord. Me and God had a fight. You can probably go back to the company now and find some blood out there on the sidewalk. I'm saying, what's wrong with you? I make more money than the whole church. Are you, have you looked at the books? Any of y'all ever, ever talk to God? See, y'all want God to talk to you. I'm going to tell you, when God talks to you, he's going to ask you to do something that you don't want to do. Just the fact that love your enemy. Love that one that hates you. Love that one that you borrowed your money and didn't pay you back. Love that one, amen, that talked about you. Ran your name down. Y'all want to hear from God. You don't want to hear from God. Because God's going to ask you to do exactly what you don't want to do. I said, why don't you call me when I was out there jumping fences, reading meters, fighting dogs, running through the snow. Now you wait till I get to a six-figure income, manager the first programmer, and then the first manager, amen, praise God, Lord have mercy. Now you said, go home and be a full-time pastor. What's wrong with you, God? See, so y'all don't talk to God. I'm telling you, let, let God ain't come down your path yet because God's going to hit you where it hurts. That little thing that you love, that's what God's going to challenge you for. He ain't going to challenge you for what you don't love. He's going to challenge you for you what you love. He called Abraham, gave him a son after 25 years waiting for Then he said, take him up on Mount Moriah and sacrifice him. 
Take him on up there and sacrifice him. You got to learn to trust God. Y'all trust God? I don't know if you trust God. Got to believe God. First of all, you got to know when God is speaking that it's God and it's not yourself and some demon trying to get you to do something. You got to know it's God. You got to come to know the voice of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So God is reward of them that diligently seek him. Many of you labored when you didn't feel like laboring down here. Many of you gave your tithe and offerings when you didn't have it to give. But something else went lacking because you trusted God. Woo. We come this far what? By faith. You didn't just show up down here. Amen. This building wasn't secured. Amen. Because of your good looks. These modifications wasn't made. Amen. Because, amen, somebody just loved you and came in here and tore this wall and tore that wall and just gave you some carpet and gave you some chairs. Amen. Praise God. This thing cost somebody. It takes faith. We've come this far by faith. And faith is going to take you down the road as long as you hold on to it. Amen. Praise God. Yes, some may give up along the way and throw the towel in. Amen. Praise God. But let, let, we have always had, amen, praise God. Amen, Lord. We've always had people, casualties, as we call them in the military, amen. casualties along the way. Because everybody can't walk to that, that same level. You're going to lose some people as you go higher. Because some people are not going to be able to handle you going higher. And what's going to be required of you? As you go higher, amen, praise God. First lady, they can't come and handle you like they used to. They're going to get so they, she done got uppity now. Amen, now she got these ladies all around her. Can't get to bishop like they used to. This pandemic changed some things, didn't it? Pandemic not only changed the whole world, changed the church. Changed the way we did church. Man, I'm telling you, the online church, you'll never get rid of them anymore. The online church, and you need to honor them. Lord, we recognize and we, we, we honor you this morning. Because you're going to have something that will never be, come back into a building. Whew. Faith. Those of you that's here, thank God for your faith. Those that's online, we appreciate you. Stay online, amen, praise God. Send your tithes and offerings in. That same anointing that's in the building can reach you too if you got faith out there. Just draw it in. Draw it in. Amen. Whatever you're going through, believe God for it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But I'm telling you, God's going to challenge you. Amen. Praise God. Because that's the way God works. He that believes God, you must believe. Must believe. Amen. But because of your steps of faith, amen, and open this ministry up and to keep it open over these past 17 years, amen, praise God, I know that it hasn't always been easy. Can somebody say, but God? But God. Amen. But God. Whenever you see that word, but, in a sentence, honey, I love you, I love you, ain't nobody like you, but. Whenever you, that word but, no, you can throw everything you ever said before that out the door. Because the whole thing is about to change. But God. Can somebody say but God? But God. Hebrews 6 and 10 says, for God is not unrighteous. Listen to what he says. God is not what? See, man, you may run across some men that's unrighteous. Amen. May run across some folks that pray when you're working, when you're doing what's right. Amen. Praise God. Try to cheat you and cut you out. But the scripture says, but God is not unrighteous to forget your, your work and labor of love, which you have shown towards his name in that ye have ministered to the saints. And do minister. Don't think God don't see what you're doing. Pastor may not be around when you up here cleaning. When you up here rehearsing. Amen. But who? God sees everything. Woo. God needed a new king over Israel. Amen. And Saul and messed up. He said, Samuel, get your oil. He said, because I got another. Didn't nobody know what David was doing out there on the back side of the mountain? His father and brothers didn't even know. Just threw him out there. Go on out there and keep your daddy's sheep. And God's watching him and watching his faithfulness and watching how he wouldn't let the lion take the sheep. He wouldn't let the bear take the sheep. Amen. Praise God. He said, I got another. Don't think God ain't watching you. 
Don't think God don't see what you're doing. Don't think God don't hear your prayers when everybody else is sleeping. God's got his eyes on you. See, some of you think just because pastor ain't here and on the job, same way, just because the boss ain't around, we can do. God is watching. Promotion come not from the east nor from the west, but promotions come from God. My last two positions on my secular job, I didn't apply for them. They wasn't even announced. At the time, my manager rolled up on me and said, Jim, I'm making you the next senior systems analyst, which on our job is supervisor over programmers. I said, you can't do that. There's people with more time and more education than I had. He said, I don't care. I'm making you the next senior systems analyst. And then after working in that, amen, praise God, and the company reorganized, amen, and everybody had to reapply for a position that looked like theirs, and then two other positions, I applied for mine and the managers and the directors, because it looked look, look, look like I got out. Then they bring in a young man, amen, from a whole different department that didn't have any, amen, large frame, mainframe experience at all. Just had laptop experience. And to us, laptop was new. I mean, PCs were new. I mean, we're dealing with the big IBM stuff, big mainframe. But it brings him in and makes him manager. And Fairfax County calls. Says, we don't want 30 bills from this company. We want one bill. We don't want 30 for elementary schools, middle school, high schools, the libraries, the government building. We want one bill. And the new manager wouldn't respond to the county. He called the president. The president said, get a team together from legal, from accounting, from all these departments. Says, get Jim Briscoe from information systems. Send him out there because we don't want to lose this whole county. This whole county. We met with the people. I come back in the next morning, the director brings me in, 6 o'clock in the morning, sets me across the desk and pushed this little piece of paper. You know how to... I open up the little piece of paper, you're the new manager for information systems. And here's your new salary, $12,000. Increase, increase, increase. And God is saying, go home, be a full-time pastor. I never had a chance to move into the office for the manager. I never had a chance to move. And I'm wrestling with God. But by faith, I left it on the table. By faith, I stepped out of that door. And man, that last day I stepped out of that door. I don't know how many of y'all, man, I felt horrible. I felt bad walking across that parking lot because I had never been without a job. And I got to trust God now to pay for my daughter's college. I got to trust God because I done brought my wife home 14 years earlier from a GS-12, amen, to bring her home off the job, amen, pray with 14 years. She didn't retire. She just left it on the table at my request. Came home, and I'm walking out this door for the last time, walking across this parking lot. And I'm saying, Lord, I'm in deep water. And drowning is not an option. I ain't drowning. Drowning is not an option. I'm in deep water because I'm trusting you. And drowning is not an option. I'm letting you know I ain't going down. I'm trusting you. I stepped out of here. Amen. I left an increase of 12000 on the table. Amen. I'm talking about $1,000 a month, $250 a week. Back then, 22 years ago. We got them through year 2000 and changed 1,400 programs to, to allow for a four-digit year. And Memorial Day, year 2000, we walked out of that door trusting God. Trusting God. We come this far by faith. Children of God, I don't know how many is in this place, but somebody have trusted in God. Somebody, this theme says we made it this far. By what? By faith. Don't miscount faith. Amen. Malachi 3 and 10 says, amen, amen, praise God, speaks of pouring out blessings in this life. In where? This life. See, a lot of people looking for the streets of gold to buy and buy. 
Now, but God talks about blessing you in this life. This life. This life. He said, if you bring your tithe, amen, praise God, I'll open the windows of heaven and pour you out. He didn't say pour out your brother. He didn't say pour out your sister. He said, I got your name. Amen. See, the blessings of God is based upon obedience. See, a lot of the word of God is based on what? Obedience. It ain't, it ain't just out there that everybody can walk in it. Amen. Somebody's talking about, amen, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Yes, if you're obedient to him. Some trying to walk in these things and don't be and not obedience. But if you've walked by faith, if you've trusted God and God has proven to you, amen, praise the Lord, have mercy. If you've proven to God that, Lord, you can trust me, Lord. Woo. God said, I'll bless you in where? This life. This life. This life. This life. Amen. God said, amen, he's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Amen. Praise God. Your, amen. And that you minister and do minister unto the saints of God. Amen. By faith. Amen. Praise God. And if you continue to hold on to faith. I know James said faith without works is dead. But everything starts with faith. Amen. And when you start with faith, then James said, you got to take your faith and begin to do what with it? Begin to work it. Begin to work it. Begin to work it. It may start small, but begin to work it. Begin to work it. Begin to work it. You watch God when you step out on faith. Begin to work it. Man, I'm messing with somebody up in this place this morning. Amen. Praise God. Because see, God ain't changed. Amen. The same God that I serve. He's out there for you young people. The same God that my father. Amen. Lord have mercy. That our four parents, that my mother that raised four children by herself at 19, built her home debt free. Debt free. Claimed it and then built it. Debt free. Debt free. Gave us her car. We in the military. She, she's thumbing a ride to work. And we got her car down in Petersburg. Amen. Praise God. Fort Lee, Virginia. Down there all week sitting in the parking lot. Just so we can have a ride to come back home. And then we have. We so poor down there. Ella Poe. We didn't have money enough to go through the tide, go through the go through the toes. Amen. We had to travel 301. We pulled in up there behind Lunar Town. Amen. Car getting ready to run out of gas. Tell the man, give us we all we got is a hundred pennies. But see, the gas wasn't four dollars a gallon then. It was thirty some cents a gallon. Amen. Amen. But all we had was a hundred pennies in our military uniform. The guy gave us, amen, a dollar's worth of gas and told us going on. Wouldn't even take our hundred pennies. Amen. Praise God. But I'm telling you by faith, by faith, you got to learn to walk with God. Woo! He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I dare you put God to the test. Put him to the test. Put him to the test. Amen. He's there to prove himself to you. He's there to let you know that I'm there when nobody else is on your side. I'm there. He's a way making God. Amen. I know Pharaoh laughed at Moses when he led, the, led a million, five million people up out of Egypt. He said, man, he don't even know where he's going. He's going towards the sea. They ain't got no boats over there. But he had a God. Woo! God asked him, said, Moses, what's that in your hand? He said, it's a staff. Stretch it out, Moses. What's that in your hand? It's the what? It's the word. The word is in your hand. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Trust God. Watch God. Amen. Praise God. I'm telling you what God will do. And I'm telling you from experience. I ain't in here preaching something that I ain't walked. I'm telling you from experience. We walked away from a GS12 working at 13. Amen. Praise God. 41 years ago. 41 years ago when she was pregnant with our youngest daughter, who's 41 now. 41 years ago, we left a GS-12 on the table and walked away from it with 14 years of service. No retirement, just walked away from it. Trusting her husband, amen, praise God, that's, that's hearing from God. Now, why is that? I don't know if y'all trusting your husband that's hearing from God. God told her, stop praying to me. Pray for your husband. Stop praying for me to do things for you. 
pray for your husband. And God doubled her and more than doubled her income into my life to give my wife what she's asking for. You got a husband. Stop asking me for stuff. Ask your husband. Woo! I'm talking about God. I'm talking about stuff that we have lived, man. I ain't talking about stuff that we, that, that Lord had mercy, just read something, put something together. I'm talking about faith that we have lived, that we have walked this walk. And God is still faithful. Still faithful. See, still faithful. He that cometh to God must believe that he's a what? Phew. Don't let nobody tell you that God ain't going to bless you. When you walk with God, God's going to bless you. Now, there's some folks I know cannot handle. Amen. Praise God. Somebody told me the other day, said, Bishop, you don't invite them over your house. I said, I don't care. Anybody come. I don't live in no gated community. If they can't handle that's up to them. But if they didn't walk away from 100 grand, if they didn't walk away from a GS-12, if they ain't walked away from trusting God, God said, he's a what? He's a rewarder of them that what? Diligently seek him. Diligently seek him. I said, everything I got, I, I, we, we trusted God for it. We believed in God for it. We worked for it. Amen. Ain't nobody just throwing up out of heaven for you. Pipe dream. Tell you, just get up and shout for it. Get up and dance for it. No. There's some stuff you got to do to get this thing. You got to work this faith. Work this faith. Work this faith. God said, if you work it, I'll work with you. If you step out, I'll step out with you. Amen. He's a, he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. You continue to put God first. Amen. Praise God. God has restoration in this area. Amen. Praise God. You opened it up 17 years ago. Amen. Thank God for all the souls that have been saved, healed, delivered, baptized. Amen. Thank God for all the families that's been put back together. Thank God for all y'all's labor. Amen. Praise God. Your tithe and your offerings. Amen. To keep the lights on. Southern Merlin ain't laying. Ain't, you can't send no shout into Southern Merlin. Send a, send a PTL. Praise the Lord on your electric bill. And you watch when you go back. It's going to be just PTL and dark. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Somebody better have some money somewhere. God said, I'll bless you that you may what? Be a blessing. Amen. Praise God. Don't despise small beginnings. Amen, praise God. Because I'm telling you, with all these brick and mortar buildings closing down, amen, you may want to put a sign up here that said, the old restoration. Amen. Hey, take a picture. Take a picture so you can put it on your wall. Amen. And say, this is where we used to be. This, this, was our, this was our first beginnings. So when you get in that other place that's seating thousands of folks, because God just want to make sure, can I trust you with the little? Can I trust you with the handful? Or do I have to have somebody call you up and wake you up and say, John, it's time to get up and go to church? Can I trust you? Amen. And those that you that's been faithful, been walking with this ministry, don't think God haven't forgotten about you. God haven't forgotten about you. I just come to encourage you this morning just to let you know, amen, praise God, that we come this far, what? By faith, and there's a reward attached to it. God said, I'll bless your house. I'll bless your family. Amen. Praise God. I'll, I'll watch out for you when, when others think you should go down. And I got you. He said, a good man shall what fall what? Seven times. And he said, what? I'll get him back up. I'll get him back up. Something counted you out. Amen. But God is still there working on you. Working on you. Amen. We come this far by faith. And we're going to go on down the road by faith. Amen. We're going to believe. Amen. I'm telling you, the church is not going out in apostasy. Amen. Praise God. The church is going out triumphant. You haven't seen evil yet. You haven't seen evil yet, but God is going to keep, he's going to keep the church in the earth. Keep the church. And he ain't going to make it stronger. It's one thing I love about God. He says, amen, praise God, amen, that, that, that sin will never overcome sin. Will never overstep God. Will never. Will never, 
will never overstep God. That's, that's saying something, amen, that's something stronger than God. My wife told me the other night, getting ready to go up the steps to bed, amen, she said, I love you. And I looked back at her and says, I love you more. Because I can't, you can't outlove me. Because in this marriage, you, in this marriage, you represent the church. In this marriage, I represent Christ. That's like you trying to outlove God. You can't outlove God. You can't outlove God. And I look back at him and told him, I love you more. Because you can never outlove me. Not if I represent Jesus Christ in this marriage. Woo! I just messed somebody up. Lord have mercy. Woo! I thank God for you. Amen. Thank God for you this morning. Thank God for your labor. Thank God for your for your for your work in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Don't worry about it. Amen. If man don't don't pay you. God's got your God's got your time record. He's got your paycheck. He's got your reward. Amen. God's got you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we just thank you for this day. For we've come this far by faith. Lord, if it had not been for you on our side, many times we would have thrown the towel in. Hey, oh God. But God, we thank you for showing yourself strong, for showing yourself mighty. We thank you. Oh God, I thank you for meeting that need, Lord. I thank you for how you kept us from the will of the enemy, Lord. Thank you, God. And Lord, I pray that you continue to bless and prosper this man and woman of God in this ministry, Lord. And I give you praise for it. Lord, oh God, you don't despise small beginnings. Lord, we thank you for the beginning. But Lord, we believe in you for the next phase, the next level, the next breakthrough. Lord, we thank you for it. Elevate your people. And God, we give you all the thanks. In Jesus' name, let the people of God say amen and amen. Come on, put your hands together and let's thank God. For we've come this far by faith. You just didn't show up. God had a select people and a select time to fulfill his purpose in this season. Amen. Amen. If you're in this place this morning, you desire prayer.